Hello everybody, this is Cryptic. Let's get straight to this. First of all, I want to make sure that you guys do two things first. First, go to your scene and in the sprite, change the sprite. Uh, the link will be in the description. Go ahead, download this and load this guy right here. And I created a sprites folder where I put this guy in. No big deal. Right click to create a folder okay then the second step is going to the collision shape then clicking on this guy and changing instead of using the rectangle we will use the circle and using this guy so circle so making it look like this should be fine then another thing what i did was do holding down shift i'm making it a little smaller uh, that was huge i made it smaller and this is what you get so far see this is what i was at uh, it's a bit clumsy it's it's okay but i want to make sure it looks like it's it's the the mouse movement is a little bit smoother uh late uh, it's your preference if you want to add that or not but we will add it so to do that first going to your script i'm going to create a new variable called called mouse speed and setting this guy to something a number like says 0.8 then here in the to get global mouse position i can multiply this number so let's say mouse speed and then i can see as you can see it's a little smaller it is not too much then another thing you can do is make the speed is slower so 120 why because these types of games people are they are usually really smaller i mean and i think i, I like this thing and and the next part we would create a shift button so we would code running basically so let's get started first what we want to do is changing here we'll just cut this guy up here i'm going to create a new function called let's say get keyboard here i'm going to put this guy and run from here instead of speed we need a placeholder why you would surely know really really fast first you make another variable called running speed and here and make another variable called uh let's say running speed let's say placeholder placeholder speed instead of using speed we will use placeholder speed so we would just copy this guy up here uh, and we, i will show you and you would know why in a sec down here okay so now it's time for running so running we would say if input dot is action rest ui underscore shift and how did i get ui underscore shift going to projects project settings input map and a shift ui underscore shift is if you write over here something and you hit add this guy will be popping up and then clicking on the button and the key i can change this shift as a key and I click on ok and how you do that is this okay so then we would do is we have used the placeholder so we would change the placeholder instead so placeholder speed equals to then i'm gonna say elif input dot is action just released instead of pressed and then say ui underscore shift because we we want to check that when our speed is but when we when we release the shift key so then we just say placeholder speed equals to let's say running sorry sorry when i hit this i want to make sure that it is in running speed why because we are running and when we are not running i want to make sure that our speed and save this and our running is implemented can do let's say be uh, the speed and the placeholder speed at least in the initial run must be same we were using the placeholder when we are move when we are running we are simply changing the placeholder and when we are releasing we are simply saying that the placeholder speed will be the initial speed that was uh, if you have any questions comment down below so function and when we are when we are ready placeholder speed equals to placeholder because placeholder is where we are putting up the value so i'm going to pop this guy down and going down and it would, will look nice okay going to this 2d scene i can change the placeholder speed and instead of placeholder placeholder speed as the name we can change any any type but this is basically our initial speed so let's say 100 and our running speed would be 150 
I think that would look cool. And when I run, let's see, it is going slower. When I hit shift, it is a little, it, it is going faster. All right, I'm going to show you how to fix this annoying bug. As you can see, it is going insane. So I'm going to show you how to fix this bug. To fix this bug, first create a running variable, set it to sorry, set it to a bool type, and make it false. First, create a space variable that says get world 2d dot direct space state. Next, we would check if there is a collision between the mouse position. Then we would say this color line will simply uh, creates a vector around the mouse, I mean uh, around the player and if the mouse goes to the player that range then the placeholder speed would be zero because the speed is the main cause of this weird error. Then we would say else placeholder speed set it to running speed if we are running if it's not like running is false then set it to speed now you would, you might say where does running came from and why it is here over here let's go down and let's take a look when we are hitting the shift key we are running and when we are not hitting the shift key we are not running so if i hit shift it works fantastic so this is how you create a simple movement and you guys will understand how to add audio effects so let's get straight to this first you need to add two things one is called the audio stream player 2d then the timer then and before you even add that go ahead and create a new audio and then create another audio folder then create another folder called sound effects then in here you will add your the footsteps dot four dot wave okay so how do you get it you can download this into the link in the description there will be every link uh, about this video go ahead and download this thing and add this to the sounds effects folder after you do that now it's time for coding let's go but before we even start the coding two things that we need to do is clicking on the audio stream player 2d node uh, go ahead and drag and drop your footsteps over here into the stream panel then make sure that the volume is a little bit of above than zero next step is this is important so going into your timer node you will click on the one shot to true after that time for coding so we'll be coding the audio effect so we would check for if the velocity is not equal to zero it means we are moving then we will check another check is time under time left is less than zero less than or equals to zero it means the, the timer so the remaining time when we are starting out is obviously zero it's less than or equals to zero then we would play the sound so audio stream player 2d this is how you play the sound you add a then we would say timer dot start uh, so this is the amount you want that effect to play in so 0 0.4 is usually good and yeah that's it save this guy and you can see hopefully uh, my uh, desktop audio you can you can see that so let's go ahead and let's go and see yes I can hopefully you guys can hear the noise so there's like one extra line I mean two extra line you just need to say lift velocity dot length then equals to zero then if it's done then just stop it it means when we are not moving stop the animation player so you would have something that looks like this absolutely per perfectly how you want it and adding this line which says audio stream player 2d dot pitch scale equals to random node range between one to two now, all right so in this video we'll be talking about camera so it's a really easy topic so over here we will go over our editor then we would add a new camera 2d node so let's add this from scratch and let's add a camera 2d node camera 2d then when the camera 2d pops up we will create click on i think click on the current then it would be activated remember if you don't click on the current it would not be activated and your camera will not work then going over to the smoothing you'll click on enabled and you can play around with this value and the best value is the five and and you are basically done now to test the camera you need something right so adding a simple sprite adding the icon here like that 
simple sprite and adding a texture. Then if I run, I got myself a really nice looking camera.